Hello to whomever may be watching out there. Um, I don't do this at all. I really don't. Um, I just felt it necessary to put up a video. Um, it's gonna be really quick and really brief. Um, but I often struggle with hearing people talk about judging and not judging and as if you know, a believer should not be able to judge. Um, and I think there is some, 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 some standard, I guess, that, you know, you shouldn't necessarily nitpick and pick someone apart. You should respect everyone's decisions, even if it's something you don't necessarily agree in or believe is right or healthy for them. But I don't believe that we should not feel as though um, we are not supposed to say anything. Um, sometimes it is necessary to address certain things if you feel that it's deemed necessary. Um, and I think a lot of times people take in consideration the scripture where it says, judge not lest ye be judged. We hear it all the time. But I feel that it's necessary to understand the context in which Jesus was speaking. Now, I am by no means a scholar, theologian, none of that. Um, never been to the seminary school, um, nothing like that. I just felt, you know, whenever you're reading these scriptures or any scripture, you should always read the full extent of what he's saying and not just take one piece or one scripture and apply it to whatever you want to apply it to. You have to understand what it is because, you know, you can't just take it and do it like that. So I did want to read um, that scripture and kind of give my take on what I feel and believe the Holy Spirit was leading me to um, understand and, and be able to interpret the scriptures just as it is. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to have the Holy Spirit to understand the scripture. It's pretty straightforward in my opinion. But, um, you know, we'll just see what it says. So I'm reading from Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, where the scripture is found. I'm reading from the King James Version. And it simply says, <clears throat> Judge not that ye be not judged. We all know that. Um, verse 2, For with what judgment ye shall judge, ye shall be judged. And with what, what measure ye shall meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote of, out of thine eye, and behold, a mote is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam, the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Now, I feel like when you read the first scripture and you stop there, then of course you feel like, ooh, don't judge me. I can do whatever I want to do. You have no right to tell me about myself. But if you continue to read the scriptures, Jesus is saying, judge not unless ye be judged. The second scripture says, whatever measure you judge someone else to, the same will be judged to you. So if you feel as though you can open yourself up to be able to criticize someone else's life, be ready for the same judgment to come back on you by default. Um, so therefore it says, I believe that God was saying, um, if you judge someone by a standard and hold someone to that standard, be ready to be able to hold your own self to that standard. Like I can't say you can't be fornicating, but yet I'm sleeping around with my boyfriend or whomever else you want to sleep around with, you know, whatever standard you hold to someone else, you got to be ready to hold it to your own self. And it also says, um, you know, you have a beam in your eye. How can you tell somebody else you can't see clearly? But then you look and see, you can't see clearly. You know, it's like saying, well, you know, you got to clean your glasses. But you look at your glasses and they're covered with fingerprints. It's the same thing. You can't judge someone on something that you yourself is not even being, um, or should not even, you yourself is not even holding your own self to. You know, I can't tell somebody else how to live their life if I'm not holding my own self to that same standard. So, and then the last scripture, the last verse, verse 5 I read verses one through five. It said, thou hypocrite, first cast the beam out of thy own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. There clearly it says, you can definitely tell someone this isn't the best decision, this isn't right. If we're believers in Christ, we're followers of Christ. If he says to do X, Y, Z, and you're not doing it, then yeah, you can definitely hold someone to that same standard if they are claiming to be um, living by that standard already. Now, you can't go and say some, you know, to somebody that's not trying to be a believer or that doesn't really 
claim that or accept those ways or those views, the beliefs in their life, you can't hold them to that standard because they're not asking to be held to that. But if you see your brother in Christ, your sister in Christ, and they're supposed to be believers and they're sitting around doing things like, you know, fornicating and gossiping, whatever other sins, yeah, hold them to that same standard. But first, you yourself have to make sure that you're one, holding yourself to that standard. And two, you can see clearly, you can cast the mode out of your life. You can actually... Um, say, yeah, I may have once did that, but I saw my error and I got myself together. So therefore, if you're a brother in Christ, you're a sister in Christ, I need to be able to do the same thing to you. So it's not saying judge not lest you be judged, like that's just stop there, don't judge at all. No, he's saying make sure that if you're going to do that, one, let you know, make sure that you yourself is holding yourself to that same standard. You know, you can't tell someone else how to live something that you're not even doing. Um, Clean your, your life up first. Get the mold out of your eye. Make sure that you can see clearly your own self. And then you can speak on someone else's short, shortcomings. So I don't know who that was for. I know that, that I, I always understood, you know, well, wait a minute. We can judge a little bit because, um, to some degree, I should say, because the Bible is a book of judgment. So why even read the Bible if we can't judge at all? The Bible is clearly a book of judgments. And the judgments is not necessarily a negative, nitpicky way. It's just saying a set of standards on how to live your life. Um, and I didn't necessarily understand how, would I, how do you, you know, go against that when people say, well, judge not lest you be judged, don't be judging. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense to me. But I went back and I read the scripture and I said, let me see exactly what else is to this. And when I read it, it's listed clearly right there. Judge not lest you be judged. Be able to hold yourself to that same standard that you're holding someone else to. And if you're not, then clear up your own life, clean out the mold in your eyes and then be able to speak on someone else's situation. So I hope that, you know, helps someone. Maybe somebody is trying to figure out, well, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right, but I don't know how, you know, to combat that basically or, you know, to to debate that or whatever. Um, and it's just simply, it's right there in the scriptures. Just read a few more verses. Um, and I believe that that's very clear and simple. So I hope that was able to help someone. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this again. I just felt very compelled to. So maybe it was the Holy Spirit, I believe. Maybe there's at least one person that might need to hear this. So I hope I answered um, some questions that someone may have had. Um, so anywho, have a great day. Bye-bye.